Ah, now it's been a while, but it doesn't matter. Because whenever I put on this shirt, all the animation knowledge pours down from the heavens and into my butt. It is where I think from. Hello, animators! It's a me, Vento Forte. Check out my Discord server, by the way, it's a lot of fun. My community has spoken. You guys definitely want to see the system. One sec. Yep, that's it, the votes are in. More than half of you want to see system. Sharpens. <laughs> that's just sad, man. Nobody wants to see memes? I got a subreddit and everything. Well, Maple doesn't have time, so the second most voted one was the tutorial, and hence why I'm here right now. And in my Discord server, you guys voted for Running Start, so let's do that! But before I do, I want to ask you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content, and with that on the side, let's begin. First up, I wanna, I wanna relax this dude, give him a stance. Alrighty, way better. So, there's two ways in which I would go about doing a running start. I've already got a running stop tutorial, if you want to check this out, there will be an eye in the corner right here. You should click that if you want to see that. However, both methods include me putting the Steve in a folder, because it's easier for me to animate him. Stevie boy. And since bo both the rotation points are in here, I want to move the Steve by minus 12 units down, so now it's in the center of the folder, and move the folder 12 units up. He is in the same place, but the rotation rotation point is now in the center and Steve's rotation point is down by the feet, which I need both of them for. If you want to do custom rotation points, they're broken. That's why I'm not doing it this way. So there are two types of running starts, either 0 to 100 real quick, so a sprint, or it gradually increases, so like you start with a walk cycle and then you get faster and faster until you get to the point of a running cycle. I want to try doing both of them. Alright, so first one, I want to drop my character down a little bit with the knees in on the Steve guy. Tilt him forward, and by the time he starts running, I'm just gonna put him to 45 and bring him back up to minus 12. Actually, he can go down lower, and this is gonna be an so like. And this dude is just gonna go forwards, just forwards with one long ease in. Let's say the right leg wants to stay on the ground here, so I'm just gonna extend it so it stays on the floor. So if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, is I'm sinking the legs to be on the ground. As the guy starts running, the legs are always gonna be intact on the floor. It obviously looks wanky right now, but it's gonna look better once I animate the upper body as well. Because the upper body also supports the leg motion and all body parts sh should work in conjunction with each other. Alright, so the body's gonna lean down a little bit, because in the next in the next keyframe it's gonna go the opposite direction. That's why I wanna keep him in this direction, facing the other way, so we kinda get the anticipation from the moves of the body by itself. And once you get to this point, it's literally just your average running cycle thing. The head is always looking in the direction where it's running, that's self-explanatory. But for the arms, I'm gonna make a keyframe at the end of the motion, because it's gonna help me with the animation. So as I got that, I know that his left arm is now backwards, so in this position, it has to go forwards. I'm just gonna duplicate these two keyframes so they don't mess up my position and stuff. Alright, so to me this feels like a solid running start, and from here is just a regular run cycle. I've got a tutorial for the run cycle, I'm gonna quickly recreate it, just, just one sec. Alright, so we've all seen the run cycle before, it looks like this, so he just starts running out of nowhere. Moving forwards and... Wop, he's running. Oh, the feet are sliding, move him forward more. Until the point where his legs are not sliding on the ground. This feels okay to me. And also, you should animate him bob up and down. Wow, you got yourself a running start. Now I want to take a look at the other type of uh, running cycle. So it just starts out of a walking cycle and gradually speeds up until he is fully sprinting. I want to take a look at that one as well. And I'm actually feeling kind of lazy, so I'm just gonna import my already existing walking cycle. Hold on, why are you on thousand, boy? Import. What? Is that it? That is it. Why are you on a thousand? Man, time flies by when you're recording videos. I had to reset my camera twice already, and it feels like I've just begun. Alright, I've got my walking cycle in here. There's also a tutorial for that. There's an eye in a corner for everything. I've done it all. How I want to go about this is actually slowly but surely lean the body forwards, head going slightly upwards, and the arms exaggerate their moves. They're going extra forwards, extra backwards. And as far as the legs go, 
I actually want to select everything from a certain point onwards, preferably this point here when he lifts the leg up and move it closer in and then skip one and do the same again for the very next one. I don't have a certain method on how to do things, I'm just improvising along as I go. This leg could go backwards more and this leg could actually bend more so he goes down more. I should not have moved the entire body without moving everything, not just one keyframe because now it's out of sync. At this point, I kind of just want to delete everything as far as the legs go because I don't need this walking cycle anymore, but I do need these keyframes still, so I want to delete everything beyond those keyframes. Those are no longer aiding me in this, in this task. Alright, so this leg can now go backwards more. This leg can now go upwards more like this and this body now has to adjust obviously the Steve sing them legs don't allow them to slide because if the legs slide the animation sucks and nobody's gonna stand for it all right maybe move these out by one frame because they're a little fast and on this keyframe the guy's gonna land this leg's gonna be on the floor this leg is gonna go back so he made a little little skip there you know as he's walking body starts leaning forward he's slowly starting to make skips so he's no longer walking on the ground but jumping from one leg to the other more and more aggressively until the point he is completely tilted and it's just a standard running cycle. It's a thing that you don't memorize by decimals what you do because I know some of you guys do that. It's more of a more of a feeling. So for example, if he is leaned forward by this amount, he's not going to be skipping too much because he's standing up almost straight. You can't really run if you stand up like this. Some common sense there. So now I want to do a little inverse leap. So he's going downwards, but there's also going to be an arc in the motion so he's gonna move forwards here and in between the motion he's gonna go down but I'm gonna do this across separate timelines so we need this much space or you could just move the legs first and then you can move them left and right to see how by how much you have to move them and the up and down has to be adjusted as well and in between here the up and the down has to go very much down with an ease out and then an ease in so it looks like this so that is a small little leap it look it feels like he's still running the motion continues and now, obviously, what you gotta do is sing the legs. And this leg here can just, you know, follow along, skip. Maybe this leg has to go backwards more. Because if you take a look at the keyframes here, it's ease out, ease in. Ease out, ease in. Ease out, ease in. Because it's always either going up in an arc or down in an arc. You can see the motion in action, you know? If you've got energy that propels you upwards, it's slowly gonna stop and it's gonna start propelling you downwards. Then you have the energy propelling you downwards and you have to stop it with your legs slowly and propel yourself upwards. That's why you get the arc motion and that's why separate timelines here for Steve Boy and Steve, which are the same thing, are very much required because you can do the arcs while keeping the linear motion being linear. That is the magic of overlapping action. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now been 30 minutes since the start of this recording and it's actually kind of tiring, not gonna lie. I forgot YouTube is a lot of work as well. Maybe I can actually start doing this. So spread his legs further apart. Oh, did he actually stop? Yep, this needs to go forwards more. And at this point, I'm gonna start rotating the body. So as we all know, at least for my running cycle, the body needs to be at a 45 degree angle and I'm slowly gonna start doing that. So at this leap, the body is gonna tilt a little bit and on the next leap, I wanna tilt him fully 45 degrees so sink this leg this guy can go downward the only thing that i hate is you know this being offset i should have just swapped the folders and the steve so the folders going left and right and the steve's going up and down then the center pivot would be relatively closer but i messed it up at the beginning so i'm going with this now I mean, I could literally just swap this right here. So this guy would move forwards and the Steve boy would go up and down. It's literally the same thing. I could just invert it. As you see, it also works just as fine. But because I already have the structure set up, I want to keep it that way and that's it. And as you see, if you take a look at the legs here, they actually look pretty damn similar to what the running cycle legs look like. You see? And he is gradually speeding up, which is great. All right, so now I want the body to go 45 degrees down and this bottom leg needs to go completely backwards and extend. That's a poor angle. If you take a look at this, that's a much greater angle. That means he's gonna sprint forwards. And that's it. This is the end game, boys. Heck, why not, why not make another little arc there? especially? 
especially because it's already going into the floor. So just like this, maybe this time we do need a separate keyframe to bend the leg more. Otherwise, it's going to clip the floor. And now we adjust this position here. So he is gradually speeding up. And of course, we have to animate the body to comply. Otherwise, he's just going whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, let's see. What can I, oops, what can I do here? Because you can totally see this character trying to go forwards. He's leaning forwards and he's being dragged in that direction. In this stage here, the Steve Boyle kind of tilts by 18 degrees. So I kind of want to undo this guy's rotation a little bit. So he doesn't feel that he is leaning all that much. So we don't get the stairs effect. But he's gradually leaning as the body leans. Yep, this looks better. And at this point, the body can just go like this, and you know, this this time it has to be linear because the change is too much, so if you take a look at the body alone, yeah, it feels like he's slowly starting to run, although this jump here is a little bit too long. And also, a bunch of jumps have a lot of airtime. I don't think I should have given them this much airtime, so just... So, the head is always going to be looking in the direction he is running, preferably without any tilt. This is tilt. Raise your chin, princess. Your crown is falling. Alright, now the arms. So, this arm needs to go backwards. And depending on how much... Oh, Naruto, right? <laughs> Depending on how much he is tilted and how fast he is moving, the arms are swinging more and more. If this arm was down here, it almost feels wrong, you know, it doesn't doesn't seem stable. If you put it up here, you're like, oh, okay, he's catching his balance. Actually, the arms have a keyframe in between here, yeah, and in between here as well. There's no in-between keyframes for the arms because the arms just swing back and forth. That's it. All right. That's all. I kind of want to import my running cycle just because I want to see what it looks like. It jumped a little bit because I just copied stuff. I didn't even look at what it is. Let's just ignore the little jump and this is what it's like. What is the jump? Oh, it's this thing. What if I delete this? I was really hoping for a butterfly kick or something more interesting. But if you guys want to see a running start, then heck, I'm doing a running start. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Once again, hit the like on the video, subscribe for more content. And if you got any memes you want to share, I've got a special place right there. I still want to do the Sharpwind meme review, even though you guys apparently don't. Breaks my heart. Anyways, thanks for dropping by. We'll see you next time and stay sharp.